Namaste from Japlang Language Services. We welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. Today we will be learning how to install Japanese keyboard on your iPhone and tablet. So probably for tablet we will be coming with another video, next video. But today we will be learning how to install the Japanese keyboard on your Android phone. So let's let's start with this. So how to install Japanese keyboard on your phone or tablet? So Android phones, let's start with the Android phones today. So first we need to download a Japanese keyboard to do this, open the Play Store. So other videos has been already, uh, one video has been recorded at the end of this uh, video. So please uh, refer to that video after going through these slides. All right, so I say like now we have to uh, open the Play Store if you're using the Android phone. So you can see the arrow mark, click on the Play Store, double click on the arrow, or touch the Play Store icon. Then in the search bar, type Japanese keyboard. All right, Japanese, if you write Japanese keyboard, you will have lots of options available where you have to select. The first option will be almost definitely be Google Japanese or second, third option, depending on like, you know, what you have searched before, right? So you have to select, you can see the arrow mark, the orange color, yellow mark. Right? So this is arrow mark is given in the yellow, orange, so uh, Google Japanese input you have to select and then this Google Japanese input is free and easy to use. Let's install it. So you will have a install button and that's you can see in the green color install written install on that and then give the permission and download that application. Right. So you have no you say well, you are OK. You are agreeing with the all those agreements all those. Uh, uh, OK, so we move to next and then uh, set up for text. So it says open it up and give it more permissions, but only if you feel okay doing that. It is important to read the terms of service. You know, like you no know, terms of service and like you no know, agreements is uh, it's very important. Like you no, know, you agree that uh, you give all the rights to access the photos or sector sector and all. Right? So, all right. So now please enable Google Japanese input here and then uh, press next. Yeah, if you go through the setup instruction, it should. Uh, Put you in the language and input sections of your device and turn it on. So you can see here Google Japanese input. I've just turned it on now, it has gone in the blue color already. So now, when you go to type, uh, you can click the new title globe near the bottom left to switch to Japanese. Here is, is your new keyboard, right? So uh, basically, you know, if you can switch over, you know, you can also uh, no. So I have given all those. Uh, uh, instructions in my video so i request everyone to see that video what is the difference between this 12 12 uh, keyboard and then quality keyboard we have two kind of keyboard there all right so now you tap and pull toward the character you would like to input right now so for example you, uh, you want to write uh, car you just press now green color button you can see so car if you want to write just press car so automatically car will come and then if you want to do key then drag toward left hand side no towards pull, pull toward uh, left hand side it will be key like that Right. So all those instructions, all those uh, explanation has been given in the uh, video, which is at the end of this slides. Okay. So now, uh, if you don't like the 12 key keyboard layout, just switch to Romaji or Quatri. Now, this keyboard I am talking about. This keyboard is uh, beneficial uh, for them who knows uh, Japanese language. Who are the learners? That's good for them that they can recognize. Okay, which is car, which is uh, etc. And all. But having said that, like you know, if you are not very much comfortable with the hiragana typing, then you can always go for this. Uh, another keyboard is called Quatri. So now for doing the Quatri to do this, open your application folder and tap the Google Japanese input icon. But note that the name is too long for the icon, so it appears as Google Japan. It will be ja Google Japanese, but now Google Japan will be your app name. All right, now keyboard layout is right at the top. You now, if you click that, then you will have to you know, search that uh, keyboard layout. So you have to just swipe towards right. So if you swipe towards right, it uh, you know, slide uh, and tap the large quality icon here. Just uh, you have to select. The so first one was uh, 12 uh, uh, keyboard and second is quality icon. And then select that. Now you can type Japanese uh, with a desktop keyboard layout on Android, whatever you know, you are using it on your uh, computer, same thing you can do that. Yeah. Alright, so we can see here, Play Store icon on the home screen, we will click on this. Alright, so 
will type here Japanese keyboard although because I have already searched so it's showing me the options Japanese keyboard I will type here Japanese and then keyboard all right so you can get the option here Japanese keyboard I selected and we can see from top number two this Google Japanese input options is there we'll press that and we click on that and it will ask whether we want to install or not so let's go to let's go and install this so meanwhile is it is installing we can also see uh, other options available down but as i said like no or depending on our how good our internet connectivity is it will take some time accordingly now once it is installed click on open it will ask you to enable in settings so select google japanese input in your language and input settings like that okay so now i have gone for google japanese input you have to give the permission it will ask you for the attention there is no this input method may be able to collect all the texts that you type including personal data like passwords and credit card numbers it come from the app Google Japanese input all right and you this input matter you have just you no know, click OK if you agree all right select input method uh, here you can choose input method uh, automatically is inbuilt for me because a Samsung phone so I need to select because I want to write in Japanese so I'll select Japanese Google Japanese input and then click on the accept you can see here a small uh, check button is there called accept you have to click on the accept all right and then ready to go so now if you want to type something now if you now initially uh, the keyboard layout will be something like this right you can say here get started you can choose your own theme now if you want to so that's uh, all options what you can type all right so now as i said uh, is automatically your keyboard will be looking like something if you want to type something or no your keyboard will like looking like this so if, as i said like no in the my presentation i have given the example of watashi so you can see here the wata wa is here on the below so why you if you know the hiragana this is a very good options okay so wa and then with ta so ta is on your uh, left hand side second line so we'll press Ta, it will come ta and then if you want to go for she you can say top right hand side it she comes on the left hand side of sa so we'll have to find where where sa group is so you can say akasa tanaha mayara that's what we have learned so sa will press sa and then drag towards the left so you will get the option okay you can see here this is she so and then drag and then left so vata she is there right and then and now we know like now if uh, if you want to type wa so it will be we will be using as ha right so we'll put a ha here so it is watashi wa all right and then press the yeah so this is watashi where you can get the options you will options will be given here in the middle and then if you want to say watashi wa uh, gaku say this so probably you know you can use this watashi wa and then ga ku say e that's right so you can all uh, write this better say like no if you know hiragana that's a very good option but if you don't know uh, here and i just want to use a uh, romaji uh, keyboard so in that case uh, let's change the keyboard layout which you will go in app uh, you know so you can see here there's a app where uh, it's installed we'll just click on this and click on the keyboard layout that's the first option keyboard layout right so instead of 12 keys phone layout we'll select quadri by dragging towards right hand side so here if you press left if you, you know drag left it will come 12 keys if you drag towards right it will be quadri right now we'll go how to type is easier than the previous one right so if now if you want to say watashi so you can say you know the romaji right watashi will be w-a-t-a-s-h-i so 
W A T A S H I Watashi. All right. So it will give you the option in the middle. You can see here, middle in the dark shaded version. Watashi is there, right? So you can see here Watashi. And now, if you want to, you know how to type uh, Wa, right? So Wa will be H N A H N A. It's not Ha, but if it comes after any noun, it becomes Wa. Right? So we'll write Watashi H A Watashi. Although we would have typed W A Watashi Wa, but that's not Watashi Wa. Right? This is Watashi. And then wa, and then if you want to say like no Nihongo no Gakusei desu, so Nihongo will be uh, N I H O, so N I H O N O Nihongo. So you can see here right Nihongo. So if you know the kanji, you can see the options will also there in the uh, gray shaded part. Nihongo kanji is there, and then again if you click on this, you will get the option here like no which Nihongo you want to type Nihongo Japanese language right. All right, so yeah, so if you want to want to type, you know, the left hand side uh, in room next to uh, Romaji version Nihongo, so you can write here. No, if you don't know the kanji, or if you know the kanji, you can select that kanji version, and, and then thus you know how to write D E S U D E S U. So watashi watashi wa Nihongo. Okay, so let, let's let's go for Nihongo. No gakusei this right? So N O will be Nihongo. All right, and we'll click. Gakusei will be G A K U S E I Gaku S E I Gakusei. Yeah, okay. So if you want to see the kanji for Gakusei, you can see the top in the shaded part, uh, left hand side. Gakusei kanji is there. So if you want to click this, yeah, automatically you know, instead of hiragana, you can select the kanji as well. And this will be D E S U. But I'll suggest we are still in the beginning phase. So full stop is there, like no. Okay, so uh, in the beginning stage, then if you have not learned the kanji, don't use because there will be for the same hiragana or letter or same hiragana word, there will be loss of kanji. So if you are sure that this is the kanji for this particular word, then only you should select this. Otherwise, write in hiragana till you learn the hiragana. All right.